Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I have a challenge as the title suggests. Um, I have my makeup bag here and I've been using the same makeup for me a little bit over a week now and I'm actually surprised at the results um, and my makeup has been quicker. This is the 20 product makeup bag challenge. So I did mine for a week. Um, I have 20 products here. It includes tools, everything that you would use to put your face on. So the first thing I have is a beauty blender. It works really great for all your cream products and all I have to do is wash it. So that is something I absolutely loved. It would be perfect inside of the bag. So I'm going to put that in. The next products are two little kind of travel size brushes because they fit really nicely in this bag. Um, these are two Kirkland travel size brushes. This is like a tulip domed brush kind of. Um, I use it for contour and blush. So that is really nice. And then this is my powder brush that I just use for applying powder because I only have three powder products. And um, yeah, this is a Kirkland Giant kind of, it's dirty from use, but so, so far that is three products. The next four are brush are eye brushes and this one I do not know why I chose it but I've actually I kind of wanted to challenge myself a little bit to kind of I don't know use a brush I wasn't sure about but I actually kind of got some kind of use out of it and I used it for like some crease detail work um so that one is interesting this is a BH cosmetics brush and then I have a another BH cosmetics brush go figure and it's kind of like a um really flat like one that you would use for like brow highlighting or anything I kind of been using it for cleanup and brow highlighting and then like applying regular shadow the next one I got for like putting stuff for under my um lash line and like smudging out liner um I kind of wanted to start doing different things. This is another good reason about this challenge is that um, you can start, you can try to do different things maybe. Try products that you're not, you're not really sure about to just to give a chance. Um, I feel like I'm like really drained right now. <laughs> But anyways, the next brush that I have is a Mor Morphe M200. It's like a crease blending kind of brush. Um, it worked really well. So far, um, I kind of did pretty basic, like, eye looks with these brushes. So, six, seven. So, we are at seven products right now. Seven products. Um, and then I got this item. I don't know exactly why. I actually never used it. Um, I could have probably swapped something out, but I never did. I really, really wanted to. It was really hard when I was opening this bag and all my other makeup was just kind of like around me and I could have just been like, well, I'll just use this and just be like, meh, but I didn't and I never used this and I don't know why. I don't know why I picked three different brow products when I really, in reality, really only needed like two. So we are at eight and then we are, um, this is a, um, eyebrow pencil that I got from like a Korean brand. It's like like uni, uni, I don't know, um, but I really like it. It's um, in the shade gray brown. Um, it's actually pretty good and it's very waxy. That's another thing that I like about it is it's very waxy and it has like that kind of slanted tip on it. So I liked that. So that's nine. And for number 10 is the Maybelline Brow Drama in Transparent. So that's what it looks like. I kind of wish it didn't have this ball thing at the end. I didn't, I don't understand that. It doesn't really deposit very much product when you do it. But it's a very gel consistency. Um, so I have one liner and it is the So Kiss Me one from L'Oreal in um, Noir. So that's 11. And then for foundation, I got the um, Dewy Smooth um, Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. <clears throat> what is that, 12? 12. 12. 
For primer, I got the baby skin one. I do not have very much left. Like, I have a tiny bit left here in the bottom. So that's 13. Um, and then I have the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. 14. And for powder, I have the um, Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Airbrush um, Powder in the Trailer Transparent. This is all right. I feel like it doesn't really um, set my powder, my foundation very well. But as you can see, I've used it quite a bit and it's actually broken. Like right here, it's broken. <laughs> and then, so, uh, for my eyes, I picked the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. And um, I like this, but it's not really a complete palette, I would say. Come. Just personally, I feel like that because the lightest shade in here is like a champagne, light champagne color. And I just feel like I want something a little bit lighter. And then, I mean, it's good overall, but the two light shades in here are just not light enough because this one comes off really gray toned. So, I don't know. So that was 16, and then for mascara, I got Club Crusher from May, from CoverGirl Lash Blast, 16. So that was 17, and then we have 18, 19, and 20. Um, I have Too Faced. This thing will never, ever, ever go away. I feel like it's, like, cursed. It never, ever will leave. I've used it for so many, like, almost a year now, and it's, like, and I've been using it. This stuff will not leave. I don't even know what's wrong with it. For blush, I have May, um... Urban Decay After Glow Blush in the shade Score. Pretty pretty. And for 20, my lips. I have Smashbox LA Lights in the color uh, Beverly Hills Blush. I have it on right now.
a really fun challenge and it kind of was challenging to do. It was really um, something that I was, I, everybody always says what's in their makeup bag and I don't understand if they're really just making a makeup bag to do for a video or they really do have an everyday makeup bag because I don't. This is like I made this perfectly for making a video about it to see if I can actually try because not everybody has a whole vanity full of makeup that's got four set 42 drawers or something. I don't even know. I don't have that. I have like the one Alex nine drawers. I think I don't even know but it's like I really just wanted to try it to see because I like variety. I like to wear a different blush every day or a different eyeshadow look. I like to change it up, but some people don't. Some people wear the same face every day for years. So I wanted to try that and it was a challenge to not have to... The brushes was probably the hardest part and the shadow palette was the hardest part. Just to not have that difference of... If you guys do like this challenge, go ahead and let me know if you're going to do it and I really hope that you um try it it's really fun so I tried it over the holiday weekend just because I thought that would be easier to make the process of putting my makeup on easier so that if I was gonna go out the house I just knew what I was gonna do and I didn't have to make it like a big fuss so I had like 10 minute makeup in this bag so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any fun videos such as this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!